What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? There's a lot of weird food out there from all around the world, and although some people are hesitant to step outside their comfort zone of chicken tendies and french fries, other people pride themselves in their adventurous eating habits. And you probably won't be surprised when I say that some of the strangest delicacies in the world, at least to the western palate, come from Asian countries. But the thing is that people are so used to the idea of weird food coming out of the Far East that they're willing to believe just about anything you tell them. And this brings us to the early 2000s when a photo of a Chinese man eating what appears to be a baby went viral. It circulated all over the world through chain emails and Rotten.com with a story attached to it about how eating babies is the hottest new trend in Asia. It's a completely ridiculous story, yet thousands of people fell for it, including Scotland Yard and the FBI. So who is this guy, and what's the real story behind these photos? Find out in this episode of Tales from the Internet. This video is sponsored by Verve. Verve is a streaming service that brings you shows and movies from a variety of sources like Crunchyroll, Nick's Splat, and my personal favorite, Shudder. And I was really surprised by the depth of their catalog. At the time of me filming this, they have basically every classic cannibal movie, Italian horror movies like Fulci's Gates of Hell trilogy. They actually have Faces of Death available to stream. And then there's all of the anime that I keep on saying that I need to get caught up on, like My Hero Academia. And before I get ahead of myself, I literally spend an entire video gushing about all the things I'm going to be watching on this service, and their app that'll let me watch these things offline when I'm inevitably stuck in a train with no signal at some point, but... To get started, go to vrv.co slash wang, or click my link in the description for a 30-day ad-free trial of Verve Premium. Although chain emails were a plague on the early days of the internet, I kinda love them a little bit. And a big part of that is just the absolute absurd things that people would send me. I mean, you've seen the lobster video. And I'm about to tell you about an old chain email that we can file away with the lobster story, except for the fact that this one is much more grounded in reality. The story about the so-called growing trend of cannibalism in China or Taiwan or whichever Asian country. There's several different versions of these emails dating all the way back to the year 2000. One of which reads, Oh, oh, how cruel can humans be? Please finish your meal before open the files. What you are going to witness here is a fact. Don't get scared. It's Taiwan's hottest food. In Taiwan, dead babies or fetuses could be bought at $50 or $70 from hospitals to meet the high demand for grilled and barbecued babies. What a sad state of affairs. Please forward this message to as many people as you can so it can be seen by the world and someone takes action on the same. And attached are pictures of an Asian man feasting on what appears to be a big old plate of Goo Goo Gaga. If you've ever seen these pictures before, chances are that you've never forgotten them. These pictures would eventually find their way to Rotten.com, which published their own version of the story. The Final Taboo. What is probably said most frequently about us is, Rotten.com is pretty awful, but at least they don't have pictures of people eating babies. Well. If you are easily alarmed, you probably don't want to see these two pictures from our anonymous Asian correspondent. Just as with animals, infanticide is common in the animal kingdom, but it is often followed by infantophagia, the eating of babies. Incidents of chimpanzees, one of mankind's closest relatives, consuming their young are well documented. Good eating is, after all, good eating. These photos were sent to us anonymously. It is difficult to determine where they were taken, Hong Kong or Japan, or whether crimes were committed in the process. It is difficult to imagine the act pictured being legal in any jurisdiction. Rotten.com, of course, at this point, had already found themselves in the middle of a number of legal disputes. The Burlington Coat Factory. 
Banzai Kitten. And on February 22nd of 2001, the Asian cannibal controversy would set off yet another legal problem for the website. It was on this date that a number of British news outlets began to publish Satanic Panic-style coverage of the pictures focused on Rotten's involvement. A picture of a man apparently dining with gusto on a roasted baby at the Rotten.com website has led to a police inquiry by Scotland Yard and the FBI, according to a horrifying story by The Independent. British detectives are trying to close a website showing pictures of a man eating a dismembered baby, further evidence of the extent of child abuse and exploitation published on the internet. British detective Clive Driscoll explains, According to Driscoll, the pictures are awful. It is your worst nightmare unfolding in front of you. I took them to a very senior forensic pathologist, a man I have a lot of faith in, and he looked me in the eye and said, These pictures I hoped I would never see. For me, it's a murder scene because I don't know how that child died, the so-called detective says. But despite this commotion, Soylent, the owner of Rotten.com, said that he had never been contacted regarding this investigation. You can imagine our surprise when we read that Rotten.com was being investigated by the FBI on the front page of the UK newspaper The Independent. Apparently, someone at Scotland Yard decided to close the website after he saw some pictures that upset him, the men say. And after all that, the panic journalism, the FBI, Scotland Yard. The very next day, on February 23rd of 2001, the truth of these pictures came out. Online Baby Muncher is an artist. Foyetus on your breath. The man pictured apparently eating a small roast baby in our previous story turns out to be an artist named Zhu Yu who performed a conceptual piece called Eating People at a Shanghai Arts Festival last year. And it wasn't any of these outraged journalists or Scotland Yard or the FBI that got to the bottom of this. It was regular internet users like you who discovered it on, you ready for this? ChineseArt.com So the gist of this performance piece by Zhu Yu goes as follows. He begins by announcing, I herewith announce my intention and my aim to eat people as a protest against mankind's moral idea that he slash she cannot eat people. He then proceeds to wash, cook, and eat the baby as someone takes photos of him. The photos of this performance were then to be placed on display at the arts festival. But there is one problem. The public never actually saw these photos. You see, because of the very obviously controversial nature of this art piece, the organizers of the art festival were concerned that it might get the whole thing shut down. So the night before they open, Zhu Yu returns to the premises along with another Chinese artist, Ai Weiwei, and they removed all the pictures. And so at this point, nobody had actually seen these pictures aside from Zhu Yu, the photographer, and the people involved in the arts festival. That was until, somehow, the photos found their way to a Malaysian publication known as Perdan Weekly. It was in this magazine that the photos were published without any indication that they had anything to do with an art installation. It's just like, hey, look at this guy eating some babies. And it's from that point that the pictures made their way onto the internet with the sensationalist story attached. It's actually very similar to the Chinese plastic surgery story that I covered a few months ago. I guess this is just a common way that these kinds of stories make their way onto the internet. And all that being said, what was that baby actually? The majority of sources that I've come across say that the baby was most likely made of doll parts and duck meat. But according to a number of these same sources, Zhu Yu tells a different story. They claim that Zhu Yu said that he obtained an aborted fetus to eat, and he really did eat it, and it was disgusting, and he vomited profusely. And I could see an artist saying something like that, even if it wasn't true, just because in the art world, especially that kind of uh, conceptual modern art, the persona of the artist is basically as important as the art itself. But from what I can tell, the only time he has actually said this was in a fictional work. A film that he made in 2003 entitled Corpse Case. Although I was unable to get a copy of the film, I was able to obtain a partial transcript of it from Wikipedia, which cites it as evidence that he claimed to eat the baby for real, despite the fact that the page that they linked to says, Note, the following text is the transcript of the video work Zhu Yu's Corpse Case. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again, always check the sources when you're reading Wikipedia. Anyway, the film is a depiction of a fictional court case in which Zhu Yu portrays an artist named Zhu Ji. The character Zhu Ji created an art installation similar to eating people, and in the story, he claims that he tricked a hospital into giving it to him. The character Zhu Ji then eats the fetus in his art exhibit and vomits profusely. The fictional court case then goes on to talk about incidents such as one in which the artist chops up his own child and feeds it to a hungry dog. From what I can tell, it's very clearly intended to be an over-the-top fictionalized version of himself, but not an admission of anything. So ultimately, no, I don't think this guy went and actually ate a real baby. But that hasn't stopped him from legitimately being one of China's most controversial artists. And eating people is really just the tip of the iceberg with his work. He had another piece where he takes a real human brain, slices it up, boils it, and autographs the pieces. Then he sells the pieces and people bought them. And he has another piece where art patrons go into a room with a tangled rope held by a decomposing human arm and they gotta get around the rope to get out of the room. And then there's one where he actually had a surgery done to remove a big piece of his skin and have it grafted onto a pig. And video footage of this surgery is available and he does have the scar to show for it. And the question you gotta ask a lot of the time with an artist like this is, what's the point? Why would you do something like this? And in the case of eating people, at the height of the controversy with Scotland Yard and the FBI investigation, Zhu Yu actually went on a British documentary to talk about his piece. No religion forbids cannibalism. Nor can I find any law which prevents us from eating people. I took advantage of the space between morality and the law and based my work on it. So as I understand it, the point of this piece, in which a man eats a boiled baby in front of a bunch of people, is to demonstrate the difference between what we inherently find to be right and wrong, and what the law determines is right and wrong. Let me know what you think about his message. And if you like this video, I'm sure you'll like my video on Rotten.com. I'm out of here.